Okay, so I'm back. Yes, I've been working, and I'm still working on it today, just thought I'd give an update. Um, yes, so I'm on with the skirt at the minute. I've been doing, uh, with whatever gel coat I've had left, lots of old stuff, like I mentioned. If I did mention, anyway. Uh, seems to be working alright, so I'm just down at the bottom where the stalk is more or less situated. I've been um, applying it by roller. Um, much more nicer instead of having the brush marks. The reason why I'm not also doing that, uh, the brushes that I've had about five different ones, the bristles which I've had to pull off from here, um, the bristles are starting to fall out. Uh, so I do need some uh, uh, new ones, some much more high quality because these are from uh, Wilco. Just whatever I've had laying about. Reason why I'm not washing that out. Uh, I've got a tray. Um, I don't have a painter's fin so I'm just using the old lid and that works and the rollers are in and I've already done two um, yeah so it's changed a bit um, I pulled it in to make it look more sleeker so I've been doing that as you can see from the design it gets um, no it will be covered up it gets uh, wider so what I did for the back because I knew they were more or less parallel to the floor they don't follow the contour of the skirt um, I cut a hole and then sort of pulled it back uh, sort of thing so it has that sort of angle look for when the um, flaps get finished on it'll be a plaque which I'm going to be 3d printing soon yeah so the reason why the bristles kept falling out I've been using them a lot of back and forth you know and also acetone to clean them out and uh, I do a bit of a, uh, a Bob Ross um, whenever I'm getting the acetone out I sort of do that as beat the devil out of it as he used to say um, yeah it's not perfect still I'm only the reason why I'm doing the gel coat is also to see where I've missed so there is a lot of well there's that that needs sanding you know I am going to go overboard with it uh down here um yeah so that still needs filling that still needs filling and sorting uh we come round to the front and we've still got here to do uh yeah just letting someone go past so yeah it's coming along it's really not easy because of how i'm literally up against this post um so i will have pictures but yeah it's coming along it does look like I'm doing the Supreme Dalek, which I, I, when I was doing the shoulders, and they're coming along, by the way, they're nearly done. Um, I'm just doing what I can at the minute, so I've got one last bit in there, about, I don't know, 100 millilitres, and then mixing it in the pot, and then pouring it onto there, and then using the um, roller. I do know there are better rollers, I'm just using whatever I've got to hand. Yeah, you can get ones with a thicker don't know what they, I'm not a roller person but the basically the sponge would be a lot thinner uh, like when you get car tires um, you can go on different thickness the thinner they are the lot more control you have because uh, over time because of it being I think it having something called sterling or something in it um, it attacks the foam and gradually um, well rips apart as you can see so it is better to have and then um, after like what five minutes because you've got to be quick with this it starts then pulling bits of the foam and then you could don't know if you can see there's little blobs here and there it'll all be sanded back but yeah once you've done five minutes your time's up you've got to just leave it um but it is the best method of applying it i used to, i'm always brushing on and then i realized uh, i did a brush on with that um i don't know if you can see there's a few dints because of how it would pull and i do want it to look like that more or less a plastic coat this is only by sponge I'm gonna probably need a lot of them um, three coats so far with resin underneath as well um, but the more layers you do the more plastic it'll become it's just gonna be a bit expensive but it means it's waterproof then um, so if any water pulls at the bottom it's not gonna break or anything and I am looking to take a mold of this I am thinking I'm gonna have this Dalek instead of well, what, oh, what was left of the red Dalek but it no longer exists anymore parts of it do up in my room uh, i kept the best bits like the dome and neck but yeah i think i'm going to take a mold of this dalek and i may then if i've got the money make a mold of the the neck from the red dalek because i do like that look if it's in scale and so they look a bit more paradigm like um 
but again that's expensive because the neck will be a fiberglass cast if i'm going to take a silicone mold of it uh but yeah i'll be taking a mold of the basin skirt hopefully um and i don't mean anytime soon uh gotta get filming done first this is just a filming prop um so i'm not going really over the top but i'm going to make sure it looks decent on camera um my friend told me um he's been helping me with uh because i'm not an apple person the camera quality looks great on this but as soon as i upload it to facebook it doesn't look as good he told me that um that's just facebook so if i was to upload this to youtube which i'm going to start doing a lot of videos now and i am getting the camera soon uh very soon like a proper one pay 11 pounds summer a month so that's good um but yeah quality doesn't show up very well on um on facebook basically but for an episode for this dalek to be in an episode i do need to make sure it looks decent so them holes there definitely need filling up um so that needs sorting because if he's camera he's got the latest phone the iphone 13 i think it is so it still needs to look decent with all these little holes and everything filling in you know i can't leave that it needs to look like a solid piece that vent needs sorting out um and yeah these little drip marks even though they're not drip marks it's from the resin underneath and this is what the gel coats there the, for the purpose i have poor eyesight but as soon as i painted this dalek i can now see where i've missed and basically it's not, at least it's not paint because if i'm painting some it takes longer whereas this takes what 10 minutes something like that and it's resin as well so it's uh, a waterproof thing and i don't have to wait too long um but yeah it's coming along it's really hard to try and show off because i'm not in the street um i'm just in the garden but yeah rollers do save a massive uh pain and then when it comes to when the shoulders do get cut, put on for this prop i'm going to put a silicon bead in around it not to glue together just sort of silicon bead in uh, i might flatten it out and that's just to stop maybe damp trying to get in um i don't know it's what we did on our flanges when i used to work at um a uh metal firm we used to do that on our um yeah ductings uh to keep moisture out yeah so uh and it'll all be bolted of course because we're gonna i can't imagine we're gonna be taking this in town uh for a you know into the mill but yeah that's roughly what i've got it is a mess and there's the bits of wood from this morning it's not the best dalek in the world but it it'll get the job done and it is i'm much more happy with this design compared to what it did look like um yeah as soon as i get paid i'm thinking i'm gonna get the bump sorted make a mold of them <laughs> and black gel coat uh to finish off the base and body fill and blah, 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 finish that off finish the skirt off as best i can and then it's yeah once i've got my mold i'm gonna make a mold with four bumps i think i mentioned uh yeah black gel coat and then it's time to start making the bumps a lot of bolts and everything like that and a lot of jigs to make uh 3d printing oh and 3d print the vent um so yeah it's getting there just a lot of work a lot of itty bitty tedious bits of work it's starting to get a bit dark but yeah that is so far what i have got at the minute so camera now